right, are we recording? Are we rolling? I think we are. All right, what's going on, everybody? Uh, it's YF here, YFP, Young Fresh Productions, whatever you want to call it. Um, today's video, I'm going to be doing a tutorial video. Uh, I'm pretty much going to show you guys how to do the cutout effect. Uh, this effect has been used in like a lot of music videos. Um, and I'm going to show you guys how to do it on Sony Vegas. Now, I don't, I'm not sure if this works on Final Cut or uh, Adobe, but uh, uh, I'm not really sure. But uh, I'm pretty sure you can do this effect because it's pretty simple and there's a lot of methods to doing this effect. So, uh, And I apologize in advance for any technicalities that may occur because I'm not fully... Uh, I, this is really kind of my first time really doing a real tutorial to, um, video for you guys. So... Uh, uh, just kind of bear with me. So, uh, yeah. So, just to start, uh, what you gonna, what you guys gonna do is, uh, I have my clip here already, and uh, I kind of know where I want to go ahead and do the little keyframe, uh, cutout part, whatever. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm actually gonna go ahead and find the actual frame. So, before you even start the, um, start doing a, before you even do anything, you have to find the place that you want to cut out. So, uh. I'm gonna find a keyframe, which is well. I'm gonna find a frame, which is right here. And this this cutout may not be that perfect, only for tutorial. This this video is mainly for uh, informational purposes, so it's here to inform you guys how to do it, and you guys can pretty much go out there and finesse it how you do it. So, <laughs> so uh, pretty much, I found my frame. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press M on the keyboard, which is gonna leave a marker, and that's gonna mark where I put where I want the keyframe. So uh, here it is. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a snapshot of that, which is right here. You can press you can press this right here and it'll give you a snapshot. And I'm just gonna save it in a random spot. So I'm just gonna save it, and it'll pop up in your project media. So you don't have to worry about going to hunt for it. It'll pop up in your project media. So uh, I got it. So uh, I have the frame. So now I have the image frame image of this of the frame of this frame right here. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna I like to keep it matched up until I've done the cutout successfully so uh here we go so what you're gonna do is you're gonna come here to event pan crop right here and then you're gonna come over to ah i'm about to forget how to do this uh <laughs> you're gonna come over to mask and then you can scroll in and out on with the wheel now i already have the pen tool selected but here's the, the um selection of tools you have over here and we're going to be using the pen tool now you can use the click the normal tool and you can scroll in and out and you can just adjust it however you want so uh, we're going to come back over here to the pen tool and then I'm going to zoom in, make sure I have some good framing. And this cutout is probably not going to be perfect because who knows. But uh, OK, I'm going to start my key framing or my I don't know why I keep calling it key framing, but whatever. Start my anchors. And just try to keep it as consistent as possible. And you know what? just for the video some of his dreads might get cut out so uh, sorry dion love you bro dion's the homie though so uh let's get your, get your get your anchors going and i actually have a tripod right here when i was shooting this i forgot i had the tripod <laughs> like right in the frame so it's okay for the so got the keyframes completed that so now i have them completely masked out pretty much so this carries the mask so now what I can do here is just take this and now I can place it somewhere. See, you can place it and wherever you place it, it's going to pop up with just that keyframe. And now you can just fade it in or you can lower the opacity, opacity whatever you call it. And you can just make it into an effect. So I'm going to play a little sample of it. For the brush. For the brush. Okay, and they'd be like, those are my ball clippers! And <laughs> <laughs> that was clipper. The, the camera immediately panned over. But if I go over keyframe by keyframe, or frame by frame, you'll see that it'll pop right in place. Bam. Like, <laughs> just like nothing like it. So if you play it... Clippers! <laughs> even though some of the parts got cut out when, when I was cutting them out, uh, you still can it. it just perfectly <laughs> on and you can go back in and you can you can go to the uh, actual anchors themselves and then you can adjust them so you can pull them like you can take them and you can just move them out uh not that but uh you can uh i think i forgot to do this but you can you get it you can just adjust it to make it more consistent so whatever so 
yeah guys uh that's how you do it if you have any questions about how to do this or if you have any other questions you can leave a comment and if you like this video and if you want to see more videos more tutorial type videos like this uh just leave a comment and just make sure you like and subscribe and just get back with me guys and i'm out peace I'm out.